Back to the ladies piece and I will tell you her name just as we finish because again this is something that came to me when I was uh, colouring this up earlier. Um, this is now where I really want to start adding that, that personality to it. So again, I'm going to take some of this off. Now I want to go on the side panels quite heavy because they're going to be they're going to be hidden anyway but they would naturally they would get a lot of wear and a lot of dirt and when I'm doing this I'm always thinking about where's it going to collect where's the dirt going to collect where are you going to have the darker shadows where do you want to create the darker shadows and tones and often that's going to evolve as a colour out from the edges. Um, and this is often why I'll use a brush at this stage. Again, just thinking along those lines of dirt collecting under edges. Well, this is where I will get that brush and start by applying under the edges. This is something, you know, you'll get a chance to really play. Play with the tones, play with the colours, play with that final, you know. Be brave. Be brave with your colours, be bold. There's, there's, there's few things that you can really get wrong. As long as you're kind of, you know, you are thinking about where each piece is going, the purpose of it, the customer and all the rest of it. I just find that, you know, that puts me in an absolute key place of knowing what the customer's expectations are. Knowing what your own expectations are. At the end of the day, you've, if, if this is a piece for you, you've done your, you've done your own brief. And again, we're going to just carefully go under these, these buckles. Obviously, I'll be securing them later on. And yet you'll see that I've got I've got sort of swirls and marks around there. But now we start to blend them in. And again, I'll say no panic. Yes, it looks dark. This is all part of that final look because I know how much colour you need to really give to get a real depth for after your for after your antiquing process, and you can already see um, the colour difference between colour difference between the bottom section now and the top section. Let's get right into these side panels. And again, get under the edges. Anywhere that you can't reach, this is, this is great. A bit more color on there. Because if you think in natural wear, these would have become darker because they've they've been hidden away and they've been rubbing against each other. A bit more colour needed there. They will have been, you know, this is where the body part <coughs> is enclosed. So really take your time. To get into those cracks and crevices thoroughly. <laughs> 